Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hi, Tokwe. Good morning. Hi. I, you know, I usually, I'm, I'm feeling really bubbly and happy, but it just, I was about to do like, yay, welcome to the show. Mm. And then you just remember. The season. You remember what's happening, and then you just, there's a sober feeling, you know. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people died yesterday. My heart goes out to everyone who lost their lives, both those that were brutalized, the police officers that were beaten, but um, everyone who's been harmed in any way by this mm. crisis. My heart goes out to all of them, the families and all of that. But really, what I wanted to say is, I have watched many of the figure, um, like leading protesters, and those that, that seem to be like at the forefront of this NSAS campaign. And one thing they keep on saying is something I want to reiterate now. I, I wanted Nigeria when no police officer would say, I will shoot you and get away with it. it. Yeah. I want a Nigeria where no police officer can say that mm. and feel and believe it no, that he can get away with shooting a Nigerian yeah. citizen. That would definitely take uh, an orientation eventually because it's not a, as, uh, as uh, Ashwajo says, it's not something you do like with a magic finger, you know. So awesome. definitely it will happen. But right now, if we have to fight to get to that point, and that's what the young people are doing out there. But when you're talking about those that died, the story that really hit me, a young boy that died in the moving truck yesterday, mm. he landed, the video went viral, he, he landed on his head, and that was so painful. He was a young protester, mm. and my heart goes out to his entire family, they're, they're mourning right now. Mm. He's a young kid, he didn't deserve to die at all. The gory so. videos yesterday making the rounds worries me. Um, actually, when I saw that happen in Aochi, I feel that if you're not on the streets with the same agenda that the real protesters have, don't come on the streets with cultism and all the works. You know, in that back and forth, pe you know, some people lost their lives. Yeah. There was a boy standing in the shop, minding his own business. Someone was behind him making a video and saw a bullet hit that boy and bam, that oh was it. Oh my Lord. If you're not on the streets with the same agenda, there's no point being on the streets. If you're, if you're not going to be on a peaceful protest, don't come out and cause chaos. Right. You know, and I love the way they're doing it in Lekki, you know, checking people and making sure if you are here for the wrong yeah, reasons, don't yeah, join us. You know? I think we need to we need to also spread that across. People mm -hmm. need to ensure that those who are legitimately protesting are actually the only ones on the street. Mm -hmm. um, I know we have a news mention, but you're gonna say so something. I have a shout out. Oh, One yeah. of our fans wants to shout out to our daughter, Ayomi Kunino Lua Wale Shogbamu. Today is her Eighth birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mm. Happy birthday. Talking about birthdays, this weekend is my husband's birthday, but because of the season, we are thinking of just Kasha, we just thank God, no need. Birthday for uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I, um, I, I, I realize that some people are getting backlashed on social media for celebrating their birthdays. They're getting backlashed on social media for doing other things aside from standing, aside from posting anything apart from. Um, and says, I don't think that that's the right way to go about it. I know that we have a struggle and appreciate those that are with you on the struggle, but don't yeah. fight those that are with you on that struggle because you can't... You can't don't, don't conclude they are not with you. Yeah. You can take out the fact that they are it. celebrating their birthday doesn't mean they're not with you on the struggle. Mm -hmm. They don't empathize with you. They're not even feeling what you're feeling. Right, right. We, well, to the point where some Nigerians are feeling like people in the diaspora, they're not, it's not, why are they protesting? They're not, it's not affecting them. And, and there was a, a, a picture I saw that really touched me where the girl said, I want to come to Nigeria and be safe but I can't. Mm. You know, these young children living in the diaspora can't come home. Their parents are worried that if they come home, they might not go back. You know, so it yeah. affects everybody, everybody everywhere. So, so we have a news superior. mention. One of our TV6 news correspondents in Borno State, Kolomi Dalla, died yesterday mm. after suffering from a heart attack. Mm. Um, he has already been buried in accordance with the Islamic injunctions. We commensurate with his entire family and TBC news communications journalism profession in ent entirety we all commence with his family may god grant him aljana fedals so um I, we really must acknowledge him mm -hmm. i think that at the end of the day he's worked you know some some, some it's it's an opportunity to live a life of impact mm -hmm. he's lived a life that his reports, his stories, yeah. his investigations, he covered extensively Boko Haram stories. Yeah. And um, it's sad that he went the way he did, but I want his family to have comfort in the fact that he served Nigeria and he mm. did his job well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Our hearts go out to family at mm. that time too. Really, really sad. Um, the season is, um, is downcast. Everybody yeah. is about downcast. It's not easy out there, especially because yesterday things went awry. You know, lots of people died. Uh, I will talk about it in the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
So this morning, we're going to start with Daily Sun. Day of rage, deaths in Edo, Lagos, Abuja, Ikiti, others as youth stage mother of all protests. Picture here of a um, police station in Benin City on fire allegedly ignited by hoodlums during the hashtag NSAS protest. We're acting on your demands. Buhari appeals to protesters. President Sachs Jaja as NCC governing board chairman. Governor's Forum begs protesters to cease fire. A Boeing assembly gives PDP seven days to zone 2023 presidency to Southeast. NSAS Tinubu tells youths to end protests. Okay, so the police station you're talking about during, during the, um, in the banter earlier, um, in Edo, and uh, there, was, there was quite a lot of them. Um, I heard that less about about almost 500 inmates were let go. So and yes, 20 the that were on video death row. surfaced that showed you know the prison break in Edo, and the uh, the, the account was that protesters had broken into the prisons. Jewish. But from the video I saw. Prisoners were coming out and protesters were cheering them from outside. So it didn't seem like they were protesting. No, actually, the report so, from the papers the said, said hoodlums. Mm. They, nobody said, no, the nobody mentioned prison. protesters. So, so the papers did say we've hoodlums. We've had a, a various accounts. And I think that, you know, you know, just because, you know, the way it went, the governor had to, you know, issue a curfew in Edo State yesterday, 24-hour curfew immediately to respond to, that, to what happened. There were killings. A police station was set on fire, you know, and you, videos of that showed youth attacking that police station and setting everything on fire. The accounts needed to be put in proper perspective because those people had, you know, some hoodlums at, uh, take over this protest. It doesn't mean that the protesters in Edo did things at, um, against uh, the rules of this protest. I think they should at, give at the, the same time, At the same time, we need to appeal to everyone that wants to protest in Edo State mm -hmm. to go about, well, there's a Peacefully. coffee right now, so you cannot even you can't protest. protest. Please note. I want to take the um, Agunyi story. So, Governor Ifani Agunyi is the um, governor of Ed, um, Enugu State, and yesterday he went with the state attorney general and commissioner for justice, Mr. M Militus Eze, and they both went to visit. He said he wanted to see the SAS office in Enugu. And he went there, he said he confirmed, he walked around and he confirmed that the facility was empty, MC. that the SARS cells, all the SARS cell in Enugu is empty. And he said he was declaring that SARS is officially closed in Enugu state. He okay. has that confirmed. So there's no prisoner being held down the, within that the facility. The SARS facility. Okay. Mm. I would like to take the president saying, you know, we've, uh, we've attended yes, to you. So while, to while speaking with the Minister for Youth and Sports, he, you know, he, the, youth, he, the Minister for Youth and Sports came out and said the things that the president has said to him, saying that he's responded to Nigerians and he thinks they should, you know, settle that um, and not allow other people hijack, other people with evil intentions hijack the protest, that they are working on everything that, you know, the youth have said. And he, the Minister for Youth and Sports came out to give the account of what he said they concluded at the meeting he had with the president. Right. Okay, moving on now to Vanguard. NSAS, pro-SARS pro protesters clash in Abuja. Money laundering court gives Ndume 21 days to produce ex-pension boss Mayna. Hashtag NSAS governors want FG to act on protesters' demands. FG seeking $11 billion loan to construct Lagos Calabar Rail, says Amechi. NSAS protests. Nigeria should prepare for increase in COVID-19 cases, FG warns. Insecurity 23 CSOs back Northern Elders on sack of service chiefs. Okay, an electricity tariff. CBN introduces framework for financing meter acquisition. So, um, federal government said they're seeking $11 billion to, you know, to start the Lagos Calabar Railway. And uh, in part, in that report, the Minister for Transportation was addressing press and he said, uh, you know, when he was asked why that railway, he said, why not, you know, enough work on the south side of town? He said he didn't like the fact that they were telling him the areas to focus on. What they use is, you know, the areas that needed the rails the most. So he said they did the Lagos Kanu and they did the Kanu Meduguri because of the level of mm -hmm. volume of tons that, you know, would, it would um, generate. And they're presently studying Lagos Calabar to, you know, to respond to the needs of the people according to the volume of tons that, you know, will travel. Okay, so I read the story concerning the metering. Mm. CBN is yesterday rolled out a framework for financing 
the national mass metering program. They're trying to close over 10 million gap of the customers in the country. And I think the private sector was able to raise about 450 billion naira to acquire these meters that they can able to provide and sell to customers. We're hoping that this gap can be closed because the truth is that according to them, 41 million households is what we have. And even less than 10% of that 41 million household have meters. And we need to ensure that we close the gap soon enough. Okay, let's move on to daily trust. Hashtag answers, chaos in Abuja and states, five die. Many vehicles burnt in FCT, police open fire. Protesters break into Lagos airports and schools shot. 24 hour curfew after jailbreak in Edo. Activities grounded in Niger, Ogun, Oyo, and Akwaibom. Give peace a chance, Tinubu tells protesters. Um, death of man 23 in police custody triggers fresh protest in Kano. And let me see what we have here. And so that's pretty much it. I have the um, Tinubu story. Mm -hmm. And let me quote him. He was saying that it is impossible for anyone who truly commits, is committed to the rule of law and democracy and good governance to be opposed to the concerns and demands of the protesters. There's no way that any society can make meaningful progress without the enthronement of these values. So in a nutshell, he was saying he agreed with the protests on the streets. However, he was also appealing to them to shift their swords so that governments can implement all that um, they've asked for and that there is no magic one that can be done for have this thing done immediately. That there's a process to it. So mm. they've made their they've made their statement. It's been seen. They've been seen. We can see that our democracy has been strengthened. However, they need time to get uh, attend to the demands that have been made by the protesters. So Any the other story? protest in Kano due yeah. to the death of this 23-year-old man. Um, according to the father's account, said that you know it, some people usually sleep under the solar panel so that to charge their phones or you know get. Um, and he, his son was among one of those sleeping under the solar panels. His phone was on, other people were sleeping, but the police came and saw that his phone was on. They took his phone from him, dragged him all the way to their truck, added him to three other people, beat everybody in the mm. truck all the way to the police station. These were eyewitness accounts that you know he had. And due to the injuries, because they kept using their baton on, right. on him, and due to the internal injuries he probably had, he died later. And that's his also, for the body yesterday. Also in Abuja, Akbo, uh, hoodlums also infiltrated the protesters. So the hoodlums actually targeted the DJ. They, they burnt up his car where the music was coming from, mm -hmm. and from then they inflamed other 50 other vehicles across Abuja. And in, in Abuja. And obviously, they said five had died also. So I can understand and, um, the hoodlums part that, okay, maybe police should protect, but I can understand that when people are com com um, protesting against police brutality, mm -hmm. we still have a case of police, 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 police beat somebody, to, yes, beat somebody yes, to death. Yes. So the IDP needs to speak up more concerning this, and there needs to be trickling down, because we cannot ask them to leave the street, and then we hear stories like we this. We cannot say we've ended yes. SARS and police brutality, and it still happens and blatantly in, in our, our faces. faces. In Lagos, our, our government seems to have been able to contain um, the um, behaviors of the police so far. Some have not really had that case here. But outside Lagos, we need the governors to step in, yes. to be able to speak and let them know, listen, things have changed. It's not, it's not well, business as usual anymore. Just one police. case that they see through mm. would calm people's exactly. nerves. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine that Iba killing. That's one that where the poor guy was sh standing with his hands in handcuffs and he was shot like that. Imagine bringing out those police officers that you know the police absorbed into the system and making sure that justice is served in that matter. Mm. People will trust the system again, but those people are still hiding. Not, we We've not heard anything about the police. Your trust. Give us names, mm. put, through, put the, you know, the, the prosecution publicly, let people see that justice was served. Exactly. Okay, we have final paper is this day. Uh, protest escalate as hoodlums free prisoners in Benin, Lagos lockdown. You made your point, end the protest, says Tinumbu. Uh, Somolu, Okowa, Obaseke, others inaugurate police brutality panels. CBN rolls out financing framework for mass metering program. So I read that other story. Do you have any story there? Yeah, no, there was a story we didn't take. Um, the story of the House of Assembly, the okay. reps are beginning to um, go through the um, PIB PI bill, petroleum industry bill. And this bill has been within the House of Assembly for the past 20 uh, years, over and over again. But now it's an executive bill being presented to them. And that the Gotabia um, Miller said that all House of Representatives members should prepare to make their contributions towards this bill. Can we just finally pass right. this bill? Quickly, and let me take the pension, um, um, the mm. money laundering case against MENA. So MENA has jumped bill since September 29. Hmm. And they're asking Ali Ndume, Senator Ali Ndume, <laughs> representing Bonu, um, where is it from? I think somewhere in Bonusha, to, to present him or pay the 500 million Naira bond he stood for him. Mm. You know, and you know, uh, issue a bench warrant for his arrest, re-arrest. Then um, finally from Lagos State, Governor, two things the governor has done. 
He has stopped the schools from um, opening private mm -hmm. and public schools, saying that because of the tension out there, yes. schools, people should stay home at this time. So they've been asked uh, not to come to school. Secondly, he has also inaugurated a judicial um, inquiry panel. And what they're going to do is that if you have cases of brutality against uh, from the police um, against citizens, please let this um, inquiry, this panel know about it, they're investigating, and they ensure prosecution of all those who are involved. So I think that's the first step in ensuring that Lagos everybody, it, Lagos State is doing donates. their own part. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that, as I said, the posture in Lagos State is showing that they are willing to meet the protesters, at least to ensure okay. that things are done and coming well, down. But out of the state, mm. it's important that we see the governors speaking to this and coming out so that we can calm the nerves of many of these protesters. Testers. Mm -hmm. That's all we can take a front page review. When we come back, we continue our conversation. Hashtag answer. There's so many angles of this that we've not looked at. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So the hashtag NSARS continues. As there was a disruption in, in traffic and activities in major cities in Nigeria. As a result of this, people are asking out there, are the children of the politicians, the rich, the influential figures, justified to join the NSARS protest? It is widely believed and perceived that these set of personalities led the country to where it is today. Yes. And many Nigerians seem to oppose the fact that their children would like to participate in this protest. In your view, should they be excluded or included in this protest? Join the conversation. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet us at TVC. Can I please hashtag YourVTVC so we can read your tweets. Please, we don't want to mention any names. Um, because social media, obviously, we've seen a lot of people going out there. Somebody came in from abroad, said that she wants to join this conversation, join the protest, you know, did a, did a, did a poster, you know. Mm. And people are saying, hello, your father was also a beneficiary of mm -hmm. these subsidy issues. Yeah. And, you know, and they, they will, in fact, they will now trace the wealth of your father to you. It's not even that <laughs> They will trace it and say, you, don't, you are not justified, right. or you're a benefit of these of process, this yeah. process. Mm. I have issues with some of the celebrities in the face of this protest. I was caught in the shoot up, two shoot up, or what do I call it, of one of their police guards, Mopo, that was so, guarding this particular popular celebrity whose song is hyping all of this protest. This particular celebrity walks around with about 24, only him. Hmm? Police? Yes. In their uniform, and when they are coming just to, to clear crowd for him, they are shooting up. And I was thinking, what if one stupid stray bullet kills one somebody? How do you do yeah. that? And this person was walking like this, and all of a sudden we have a protest. The person is suited up, discussing our issues out there. I was like, ah, ah, abo this there's yeah. nothing. This, so it's the you know, that so people if you have benefited mm -hmm. from the right kind of police, if the, the division, the, you know, this, you know, I kept asking last week. There's a subtle, deliberate division, uh, division between our elites and the poor people. If you are benefited from the good side of the police because you are rich or you're on the elite side, don't be on this protest. Mind your business mm. because you cannot be sincere with it. Well, Let the family members of the young men in Iba, the family members of all the several young men who they never found their bodies, who they told to go to Abuja to pick up their bodies, I, the case has been transferred from Panty to Abuja. Those people, let okay. those people be on the we, street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come and I, I, be cloud I, 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 our faces. But there's an argument that um, there's nothing wrong in empathizing. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong in also wearing the shoes of those because you as somebody in the influential position, you, mm -hmm. you have access. So yes, you've been, you're a privilege of the process. However, you are in a privileged position to get to have the ears of some of these leaders. So maybe they want to use that position they have to lend the voice because your own voices might not be loud as loud as they are. They, theirs is. So why would you want to remove them from this um, protest? Uh, Let know, me come to the topic. I, I think that you see the challenge we have mm. is that um, this this protest, the police brutality beyond mm -hmm. SAS, affects every body to a large extent except you have a police protecting you mm -hmm. you are you can you your the fact that you even have money puts you in the line of attack so it affects everybody but we are more equal than 
each other. Mm. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge, it's not, my, Nenima, it's not a small gap. Mm. There's a huge Very gap. Wide between the wealthy and the poor within Nigeria, and a very small bracket of middle class. So f I feel that if, you're, uh, if your father has ever been a politician in this past 20 years of this our democracy, current one, you have no right to come out and say that, or raise placard and say that um, ends and end police brutality. I believe that you might empathize with them. You genuinely can. You might even be, you might even have been um, suffered police brutality. Mm -hmm. You should find wiser ways to do it because nothing mm -hmm. you say will be believed, mm -hmm. even if you are sincere mm -hmm. in your protest. I, so those people can now join Wait, the gang of fair, police. Be, be, Mur 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 is that fair? I think that I, I've been around politicians uh, in, in the recent times I've been on this show and I've had to run away. On this show, I started this show with the strong intention of going into politics, and I made it very clear over and over again. The closer I got to power, I realized how bad it is, and I by myself taught myself because I couldn't tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. there's, there's a particular house of remember, I can't, that I don't talk to him, we we're not talking anymore, and I used to talk to him, but the day I confronted him with the fact that doctors are traveling out, he kept arguing with me. I said, that's why that anybody will talk to you. They won't tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. So the moment you are unable to speak the truth to power that you are close to, then you have already compromised and you have no right to come out and start saying, let's fight this together because you could have fought it by giving your parents mm. or your, your siblings the right word. Mm -hmm. We have enabled the system of corruption. Mm -hmm. And if you have benefited from this system of corruption, then you shouldn't speak up in now. In fact, as a big man in this country, if you are protected by a policeman and you have been in front of that policeman able to slap a woman, and you know, until they sue you, they don't get justice. Please don't come and join protests. We've seen a lot of videos. I've seen a, a governor saying, I want to take over. I want to become the leader of the youth in this country. And I'm like, eh, which governor is that again? This particular governor, very close to my state there, I'm looking at him with, <laughs> with binoculars, wondering, eh, who is who that is person? Sincere. So we need the only the sincere people on mm. this. But how we do you define sincerity? Because Mario. people are, circums they're, 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 they're hanging them. They are victims of their circumstances. Mm -hmm. A child of the rich did not ask to be born into rich. No, no, no. You know, no you didn't, you did not, you know, it wasn't your fault that your father did X, Y, Z to get the money. Mm -hmm. So you are here, you you've, 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 you've been privileged. Mm -hmm. However, you understand and you empathize with the protest. Mm -hmm. And you like to sincerely judge. So they why would you judge somebody? Do it from within. Yes. So talk to your father. Do it to your yeah. father, mm. that father, oh, please, this has to stop. You are in the system, pull out. Let the rich also start to, so that the change will be immediate. Fund the system. Fund this, let it change immediately. So you, father, this is true now. I'm not, I don't have two heads. I, this person, I have one head like this person. Let us have equal opportunities, equal okay. schools. You know, I, you sent me abroad to school. Why is there no better school here? Mm. Question the system. Make right. your father donate a library, donate yeah. a laboratory, you okay. donate a, an infrastructure, yeah. oh. ICT center to the schools within. Okay. Be the one to go there and open them and champion them. All don't right. come let and tell us call. on the street. They are call. carrying placard, joining let us. Take oh, yeah. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Hello, Okwe. Good morning, ladies. Good Thanks morning. for calling. Go ahead. You're live. Mm. My name is Okwe Oluwa. Yes. Um, I just I want to contribute on this um topic. your topic. Yes. I'm a first time caller. Anyway. Welcome, Welcome to the show. And I used to enjoy your topic. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Um, in my own view, there is no uh, there is, uh, it does not matter if any of these children participate. Okay. Because it is not their fault. They met themselves in the houses of these politicians. And they may not be able to correct their parents or whatever, but they may be seeing what other children are suffering and uh, they want to show this to their parents and every other person that they are in support of what all these people are doing. They don't have to be exempted, mm. in my own view. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. I think I'll go on a quick break. When we come oh. back, we'll continue this conversation. Especially now, even spouses are talking. Mm. Stay with us. We'll be hmm. right back. Spouses. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So as we we're saying before the break, even spouses of politicians are coming out to tweet and say, um, trying to lend their own voice to this hashtag answers <laughs> and in various parts of the country. In your view, um, people have said that I, instead of you coming out, talk to your husband now or talk to your, 
your people in your constituency, do you think they are justified? Don't you think they should also lend their voice to these protests? No, no, honestly, I think that I, I strongly believe that the, 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 a, a few of them, mm. let me not say, a few of them might sincerely understand the plight of other Nigerians. A few of them might sincerely empathize with what we're going through. But if they truly empathize with what we're going through, them carrying the placard will not, will not help them mm. and it will not help the struggle. So I feel that if you're, like I said earlier, beneficiaries of this process, mm. the act, the, if, a few of the actors, actresses and all of mm. that, you can fund this, this journey. You can provide hospitals. You can provide, like Nima said, library. For me, I would say, use the funds you've acquired because you're living a life the average Nigerian cannot afford without no, you working so. for it. Right, you can say that you were born there. It's a privilege. You were born to, your father was the so governor. how do they show so their, their people that we care? They're just trying to let you know that we care. You, well, you do what you cannot, no sense, you no. do with the money you got. Mm -hmm. What your, your father did not do for the people. Mm. So if, you're, if, you're, if your father, you know, and we have politicians who, who, who served in National Assembly mm. for, for, for three terms. They mm -hmm. were there in this, as, as senators, as House of Rep members. Mm. What you have benefited from being a, a, a child of such a person? That's is that you have your privileges. So now, what are you doing? Mm. So if you give scholarships, if you are adding value on a large scale, mm. then you can even talk. But mm. that is even your talk. Okay. Don't come out and start carrying placards. It's well, fake. It's I'll come to you, Nima. Let me take this call from Joshua. Joshua, are you there? Hello? Joshua, are you there? OK, I think we lost that. Please, go. Joshua, are you there? I'm there, I'm there. You're live. Go ahead, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay, what I mean is that I want to I want to agree with what uh, Miss Nima said. They are not so. They are not. I, I, I don't. They are not supposed to be part of it. That would that would send a message to them that these people really, these people really, they were really are really against their attitude. That that's my own on that. Thank you very much. So they are supposed to be there. So I am also. Is there any record? Is there any record that they were they were against the attitude of their father and mm. their parents? Mm. That mm. people can say, okay, this this child, do, ah, we are going to, this has been an attitude towards the evil act of his, his evil behavior of, of his parents in the cost in governing the country, in governing the country, in leading mm. us. So if such thing is, if such thing is not there, so there's no point in allowing them to be there. I like the way. All so right, I like what you. Joshua said. You know, we were just, before you went on the break, you mentioned that even spouses are joining the protest. But the spouse in particular is the first lady, and she has spoken consistently mm. in support of the people against the government. Yeah. From the first term, yes. she's, ne she's never been partisan or saying, oh, this is my husband, my mm. husband. Is no. Mm. For every time you speak with um, um, Aisha, or you, Bu Aisha Buari or you retweet from Aisha Buari, she's always mm. vehemently supporting the people, right. fighting for the people, so, fighting for the So North. Aisha Buari so is justified. So she can speak up. She can speak she up. She can speak up. Mm. So uh, at the end of the day, I, I'm feeling like, and, and you know, sometimes we now see some of them saying that, oh, this protest shouldn't go on like this. This is why you should start negotiating with people. I'm like, you, you are already showing why we did not want you to raise your placard in the first place. Oh. Because of the okay, let me come to Nima. I have a it. call, but um, I was going to add the fact that even artists, Fuji artists, were mm. being booed, mm. asked not to join the protest because they used to sing for politicians, you know? Mm. These are people that, so I'm just still wondering, okay, if they well, genuinely, if they genuinely, um, believe in the well, protest. I don't, I don't agree with you that they're not feeling. I feel they feel I didn't say I that. I didn't say it. that they did feel it. Okay. But so a lot of people are clouting on this. Some okay. people just want to be on the hashtag so that they'll have more followers. Add Some people picture. are on the hashtag, put a picture, take a picture. Some people are, you know, we need people who genuinely need this change. Mm. If you're in a comfort zone and you've not ever complained, don't come and jump on the, on the uh, grievances and agitations of those who genuinely are mm. tired of this. I, I wanted you to take a call, but let me quickly just say that the protest in Agbara yesterday was of a different tone. Mm. I'll come to that. I want you to spend your time on okay. that one. Let me take, come to Ayani. Ayani, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Go ahead, your life. Oh, thank you for calling. Yeah, good morning to everybody. Mm. Good morning. morning. Yeah, I, I think uh, there's no way they can, can come out and join the protest. Because for someone father to have been in the system mm. since 1999, mm -hmm. when the uh, democracy has uh, come up in Nigeria, now uh, people are now saying no to all this rubbish. And you think you can now come out as a child of a politician and you say you want to join the protest. It's not possible. People will able, people will able stone them. Mm. Even join it on your tweeting about it, said, people, there will be backlash. Mm. About it. Thank you very much for that comment. Go ahead. So, please. yesterday's protest in Agbara and Barracks was of a different tone. 
There's no form of hardship that those people in that area of time don't suffer. They struggle in the difficulty of their roads, the difficulty of power and everything to do their businesses. All the trucks carrying eggs yesterday from the farms could not get to into Lagos from Agbara yesterday. Videos of bad roads from, from Mokoko all the way to Badagri. So their situation is totally different. When they come out and they are protesting, and then someone comes out from somewhere in the other side of town and come and join the protest, you'll be asking, do you have horns? Because we've lived, they've lived like that forever. Mm. And when you want to travel to that side of town, you want to go for a black, uh, like whatever, black heritage day, you take a chopper. Mm. And then you come and join protests. Ah, you need to merge it so, now. So, you, so you see, <laughs> add it up the now. truth is that you, you, you might not, we might not understand the severity of this thing and how, and how it impacts everybody. Um, both the child of the rich and the child of the poor might suffer police brutality. But the child of the rich can call someone and say, Hello, Daddy. This is what happened to me. Hello, Mommy. This is what happened to me. And they will get rescued. While on the other on the other side of the fence, the poor person can be in jail for three years because they could not meet the bill. Yes. Mm. So the struggle. You, if you now come and meet that person with placard, the person is looking at you like. You, what are you saying? <laughs> Let me you, take look at how fresh you are. Look at you. Mm. Yeah, we're not in the same struggle. Well, yes, you can feel me. You can feel for mm. me, but we're not in the same struggle. Yeah, Frank, are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello. Thanks for calling. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. You live. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, I want to contribute to the program and thank you guys for uh, doing this kind of program. It's very, very important at this moment. Yeah. You see, uh, what I want to say is that uh, these children you people are talking about. They don't live in Nigeria. No politicians, even up down to local government chairman, their children are not living in Nigeria. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can find them in Johannesburg, Devon, Accra, Kumasi, London, mm -hmm. uh, Chicago, California. Mm -hmm. That's where they do school. They don't live in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, it's not even advisable for them to tell their children or for the children to come outside. Why am I saying that? In Nigerian politics, the part of 419 part of politics we play here is too high. It's more, it's more than 30%. That's why these children, these guys have lost trust in them. So I'm not sure, even they have a child, one five percent of their children are in Nigeria, okay. they will not, right. one of them will never right. come outside and protect because thank it's not advisable. Let, 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 let me quickly disagree with Frank. So if your father ever told you, are you going out? Okay, wait, let the police escort you. Know that your father is part of the problem. Mm. Yes, because if, if everybody's father had to call the police, how many police mm. would protect us? You should, have, see, you should have started to question that. If you have gone abroad and no police had to escort you, question why they have to escort you here. Mm. Now, in, in, uh, on the Agbara axis of town, when you are coming with whatever you buy, and you are coming into Nigeria, you know how many custom, how many army, how many police stops and SAS stops that will stop you on the road mm. before you get into, before you reach Mautu. Mm. A journey that used to cost about 200 Naira is over 500 Naira now, just from Mautu to Badagri. Mm. Because they are people. sending all the way. And now they are protesting. Some people are now joining that protest. I think they didn't know. Everybody that had to go on the roads and the bad roads suffered that same faith. Mm. So, um, the, our last caller spoke about the fact that some of the politicians, most of them, their children are abroad. M of course, many of them study abroad. And the truth is, when they finish studying abroad, some of them still come back. We, were, we saw on Twitter that some children of high-ranking politicians were joining this struggle. And they were tweeting that this is NSAS, this is terrible. And people came for them. And the reason they will come for them is because of what we have said already. Mm. However, my opinion, which I mentioned during the banter, is that when we disagree with different people's opinions, mm. you mustn't let it degenerate into violence. Mm -hmm. So I can disagree with you because yesterday, Mayam had a, a bad experience. She was driving because she drives an SUV and then the car is tinted. They were hitting our, 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 our windows. But she empathizes with the struggle. Mm. Every day she's here on the show crying concerning this thing. Every one of us. So you might not, you <coughs> might not agree with how they are going about their journey. Mm. But understand the fact that they might not walk the path you're walking, but mm. we are always to benefit from it in a good country. Mm. So let's not let our, 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 our anger mm. towards the government degenerate with, with us fighting mm. each other. Right. Let's focus our attention on who we want to right. face, which is right. the government. Okay, let, me, let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation and take more calls and tweets. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So still on this matter. Um, you see, what I'm seeing is that it's like a politician, for example, amasses so much wealth. At the end of the day, it's really for your children, your family. And then these children grow up and they can't even comfortably exist in society without being looked at, ah, oh, that's the person, that's the, you have benefits of process. So what's the point in amassing, you know, that question just comes to my mind. However, I'd like to remind our viewers that some of these artists that we're celebrating today, there was one that received two Toyota Prados from a, a sitting governor mm -hmm. who bankrolled his trip to Dubai mm -hmm. with his wife. There are some that were giving exotic gifts. Sitting mm -hmm. governor at the time. At the time. Mm -hmm. sitting mm -hmm. governor at now the time. Minister. Now he's now a minister. Mm -hmm. You know? So there are people that have gotten proceeds from these governments, so from, mm -hmm. from governors. From politicians. From politicians. Mm -hmm. So today you are carrying placards saying inside. You're not trying to act like you're a lead. You have suffered. You have suffered. That you're part of. You are, that you've, you've experienced the brutality that people are talking right, about. They could have are they suffered. justified? They could have suffered. But their protest is not justified because their protest is tainted. You know, because that's, if it's, it's not that they not suffer. Because everybody in Nigeria suffers over the other. It's just that the grade of suffering varies. Mm -hmm. People are protesting in mm -hmm. Neki. The kind of food they eat there. Is everyone the kind of food the they eat when they go and protest in Agbara? Yeah. It's a different thing, or in Agege, because the, the circumstances are different. It right. doesn't water down the um, protest in Lekki. Right. That's their own experience. Mm. It, doesn't water, it doesn't make the protest in Agbara or in Agege more powerful. Mm. Everybody's protesting from where they are. But you know, there's another angle that I want us to look into. And because um, I, I strongly agree with the stand of they don't have a right to protest, but let me just even play devil's advocate and p um, push their perspective. Because a, a lot of people online are saying that, ah, but I am feeling it too. I, I, come back to the, I come back to the airport and the airport looks terrible. I go abroad and I come back, the airport is extremely disgraceful. I try to do businesses, it's not working. So they might actually also have their experiences. I also had a conversation with the, with, um, with the CEO and he was telling me that the reason he wants to join the protest and lead a police, a, um, end police brutality protest is because as a business owner, when he was starting his business, he suffered police brutality for many times that legitimately he has this business attraction with somebody else. And instead of the police to add, uh, uh, maintain neutral position mm. in dealing with both parties, the police takes a partisan side with the richer person. Mm. So the average business person goes to the position to report a case, and the person you are reporting is richer than you, the person gets defended by the police, mm. and you get arrested. So those are issues that are cut across. So you might see a big, a, a big, police, a, a big man protesting, but he's also suffered it yeah. because his business is shut down right. because of policemen. Okay, let me take this call from Elijah Suber. Thanks for calling, sir. Are you there? Yes, I'm there, Moraya. Good Go morning. Go ahead, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, on, the, on the topic, uh, I, will, I will not agree for the son or the children of the politician not to partake in this protest. I will not be a party to that. Because let me tell you, Moraya, some of these children or son, you know, like, like uh, you know, your, your people said, some of them to school in abroad, agreed with that. But they saw what is happening in abroad. They saw that things is working in abroad. They, they saw that there's a government, there's good governance in abroad. So these students, by the time they come to Nigeria, they may not be satisfied with this rubbish that is, is, that is happening. Mm. So you should understand that perspective. Right. You see, and, and also, I, I want you to understand something now, clear. Some of the politi politicians, too, you see, the, 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 the moment they are there, some of them will not like what is happening. But they are handicapped. Mm. It is not all of them that are that, that know that agree with what is happening. Right. But you see, they are, they are, they are being incapacitated. Right. You see, if you cannot right. be there, you join them. That is the, what is Thank happening. You uh, mm. you Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I like the parties uh, uh, because, because the truth is that you, you, even, even since this hashtag NSA started, many politicians have come out to express their support. Although people bash them, mm. but they come out and say, I identify with you people. Mm. Mm. So are you saying you don't you know, believe them? The if, you, if you have gone abroad and come back and you know started the prote protest because you think that your people deserve better mm. would have made sense thank you not until the person that lost his family member is protesting hashtag against us you are jumping on it for the wrong reasons if you have gone which is so expected the time when the time, no, abroad, hold on, yeah. Murayo, the time that our people used to go and study and come back and try to replicate the good healthcare system everything here has gone since this decay we are talking about is not today mm -hmm. it's not 20 years yeah 
is the time when you, you, you can write can you write, can you write, write your CV because of what you you're qualified no, and go and get a job let's without a connection. Let's compartmentalize this. Uh, they are politicians, mm. they are businessmen that legitimately earn their money and send their children abroad, yes. and there are those who stole money. Yes. So there are those who businessmen who got waivers for tax and uh, tax waivers and uh, import waivers and became rich on our own commonwealth. So okay. there are uh, there are cases where the average politician gets their medical treatment abroad. The average politician has minimum of two escorts. And their children also school. And the, the, the minimum, uh, the average politician has minimum of two escorts. The ratio of police to citizen protection is smaller because our VIPs get most police officers uh -huh. protecting them. So when we have cases like this, mm. it, it, just, it, just, it, it just smells hypocritical for mm. you to come out and say that, hey, I want to protest when you are having policemen oh. protecting you protecting on the ground. Uh -uh. okay. Wait, wait, let me, okay. let's take a few tweets, please. Okay. But I, I, let me take this call. Bal okay. Balogun, are you there? Thanks for calling. Yeah, I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, well, the issue is all about even all the musicians they are heading this protest. Mm. They head, they used all these facts when they are going for shoot, all of them, all mm -hmm. of them. Thanks. Not even official. They have friends of them. They will call them. They pay them. And when they go out and of mistaking the cost havoc, how do you trace them? Mm -hmm. If whenever you want to use the policeman, you go to the station. The station knows the policeman gives it to you. Then all these politicians, the musicians, all of them, the Fuji, they use the same staff yes. whenever they are going to show. Okay. Some of the eight of them, with arms, they are entering, they will shoot up, they are going out, they will put the guns up. So, what are we talking about? And now they are heading the protest. Hmm. Thank you, you very much. Now, nah, they don't went in front of the IG. I deny he went for the protest hmm. because it's comfortable. Yeah. They had the action. Hmm. You do go So, no, I did not protest. Mm -hmm. David Do. That's why I think uh, must go. Why did he deny in front of the IG? But can, can, thank you very much for your views. But guys, let, let, let's, let's, let's put it in proper perspective. Regardless of what has happened in the past, we are all united on this one yeah. commission. So why must we exclude certain people? Regardless of what has happened, yes, they, maybe we can call some opportunists. We can call mm -hmm. some, oh, they, 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 they benefit, the they benefit them. But at the end of the day, today, we are all in agreement that this must end. Okay. Why must we exclude them? Okay, so let's, let's take a let's, Even if we don't Mr. exclude Spectacular them. Spectacular says, nothing differentiates Aisha Buhari from this train. Isn't she enjoying all the luxury? Our children are enjoying too. Remember, some of our extended family hold high position in this country now. Okay. So um, even if we don't, even if we don't, you know, exclude them, can they just not be the face? Can a nobody in this country actually be the face of this okay, protest? I see your point now. So because the fact you, that they're in front is a problem for exactly. you. Exactly. Okay. Can a nobody, can a nobody be listened to okay. by the people in authority in this country and say, okay, no, I don't know you. I don't know your father. I don't know wherever you are from. Gotcha. But I think that you can articulate yourself. Come and talk for your people. Gotcha. Okay. So, so the issue is that many of those people that we know, they, they are there because of their known. Known. Yeah. We want unknown people. Okay. Mm -hmm. this tweet. So he said that it's like a person that owns a restaurant. Now see the protesters of hung people saying we are hungry. Mm -hmm. You now come and say yes, people are hungry, but we know you own a restaurant. Mm -hmm. and you're not feeding people. That is hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. okay. That is why people are saying Let you cannot join this, this protest. Um, Andrew in Street Time says, if the daughter or son of a John Jerry Rollins or Thomas Sankara come on protest, Nigerians who know their history of Africa will carry them gentle to the front of the protest. Let even if they are son of nobody, let it be that your father had integrity. Mm. How many Nigerian politicians can we slap, can slap their chest and say that they had do? integrity. Um, Jolan e. Robert says, most of the top politicians and their children are based abroad, so they don't care about us in Nigeria. If it is possible for the government abroad to deport all of them back to Nigeria, maybe then it will make Buhari listen to us. I don't know. Well, let, let me go on a break. When we come back, we'll also add the, the angle of parents, because their parents also, some parents are skeptical. That why, why, they're, they're discouraging their children from going to the front line. So we'll add that to this conversation and hear your thoughts on them. Stay with that. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thank you for staying with us. So in addition to the conversation about rich kids joining the protest, we also want to consider the fact that parents some parents are skeptical of allowing their kids to join this protest. What are your thoughts on this? Do you, do you think um, parents should allow their children to go to the front lines at this time? Or do you think is, I mean, is, 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 they are justified to, to dissuade them 
from going out? What, what are your thoughts? Let me, let's add that mm. to the conversation. And, and they're about. justified though. Ah, I I so. Yes, ah, so. as an only, me, I'm, I was an only children. child, and I'm still an only child. <laughs> If they hear me, my mommy will just go and hide me under the bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so you know, so it's, it's. I don't think parents that say that children should go and um, protest are doing it because they don't understand the struggle. I think most parents that are saying don't go out is because they are aware of the risk to the life of their children. So that fourteen-year-old boy fell down mm. and died. Mm. You know, Bumosho Idris was standing in front just observing and his mm. tribulates killed him. Mm. There are many cases like that. And you see, the sad part is those tribulates cases, they don't even get justice. The, mm. the person that the, the, mm. who's gone fired would not even be prosecuted for that. Mm. So when parents have lived for years in Nigeria and have witnessed especially mm -hmm. military rule, mm -hmm. they, don't un they, they are seeing these young people vibrantly going out and they're like, hey, huh? hmm. they're picking, just sit down for inside house. So I'd I rather have you alive mm. than have you go there and something mm. on towards happen. happen. So I can understand the parents that are struggling. I know there was a person that tweeted that um, he's sneaking out of the house to do it. And the parents are saying, if you go, don't come back to the house again. No. I understand that, but I think that I must appeal to parents watching this show now that the reason for this protest outweighs this protection you want to do for your own child. Because what has got us here, everybody is protecting their self alone. Right. The mm. police is protecting VIP. The police is, is, is serving the rich. Mm. And that is a problem. Until we all take ownership and not right. be fighting to protect ourselves and right. our children okay. and decide that we are mm. all in this together. Let's put it properly. Mm. So we who are protesting, let's be clear why we are protesting. Yeah. And fight the people who are trying to the evil, you, you use evil intentions to hijack the protest so that we are not losing ourselves. It is not right that we are on a peaceful protest and some people are falling by the roadside and dying mm. and they might not get justice. So before a parent pushes out their child, if you cannot as, uh, you know, assure, as at the first week of the protest, the second week of the protest, it was safe and okay. But what happened yesterday? Mm. Any parent who says their child should not join the protest might be justified. It it the parent is justified. I remember there was a protest then in Ojo Lebo on Western Avenue where my dad had to run to school and pick us up, I was so tiny. They had locked us up in the altar room because my school was a Catholic school. They had locked all the children up in the altar room because the altar room did not have a window so that the tear gas that was being shot on Western Avenue then would not get into that room. And at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, my dad left work in the heat of that protest with leaves in his hand mm. to come and pick me up in school. Mm. So if, I, if, I, if, you have not, if you have seen one, you will say no. Mm -hmm. Don't come and don't, don't go and How join them. How do you see them. those leaves? What does that mean? I, I, I think it's that peaceful. you agree. That you yeah, agree. Yeah, 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 I think we need to get to that point. I know that clearly last year on the show, we were talking to a guest and it was before the elections. And the person was asking that, oh, we all know that Nigeria people, Nigerians are suffering. And the guy said, and I, and I was asked the question, and I said, we haven't suffered enough. Because at that time, it looked like we were not ready to go to the street. But I think Nigerians are going to that point where we feel like, oh, no, this is, we're not taking this anymore. So I think it would, it would benefit from parents getting involved right. as well. Let's right. all of us, let's not be like, oh, the young people are protesting. Mm, no, mm. let it be all, all Nigerians are protesting. Okay, I'd like you guys to get some tweets ready. I really want to involve those on Twitter on mm -hmm. this conversation. But let me take Martins. Martins, are you there? <laughs> Martins, you're live. Go ahead, please. Hello? You're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Morning, sir. My name is Pedro Martin. Yes, go ahead. I'm a first-time caller. But Welcome to the show. Myself. Let me just see what I want to say. Yes. And I want to correct the question of this uh, protest where we are, people are talking about. Yes. Do you, do you believe that people that cause problems, they are the best people to face the problem? So if the rich people, if people that benefit from the system, I decided to come out and protest on this struggle is even more better hmm. than, 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 than that people that are not even crossing. Because those that are caught people in this, in this country, they know what they are doing. Hmm. And they know how to fix it. So if the rich men should do it, if the rich men, if the people that are so bad. That's another one. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. If they won't come out to even say anything, it's even better for us. Hmm. So it's not good discussion. Let everybody come out. Thank Reach you. Let them come out. 
Exactly. Thank you very much. I really like that angle because she's saying that if everybody, we've all agreed, but they might even, their own voices might be louder than the man on the street. Mm. So we might actually use their voice as an advantage to get things done. Doesn't let, them not, let them not hijack it, that's all. Let them not so, be the face of it. Let it nobody. That's your own. That's, that's what you yeah. believe. Let them not hijack it because okay. we don't really, we, is, the heart of man is wicked. Even the devil does not know the heart of man. <laughs> so let people with genuine intentions be the ones to forward it. Okay. I want to take some twists. Jiba yeah. Hillary says, Agbara Road is bad and there's insecurity too and no electricity. Okoyemi says, they are not safe to join the protest. People are angry to the point whereby they got all the contacts of the politicians and sending courses to them. So what if they see them on the street? People might start sto uh, throwing stones at them. Um, Don't throw stones at them. Authentic says they are not supposed to join the protest at all. They are benefited from it, and I'm not sure that they are even telling their parents the truth. And of course, they know nothing about what the average Nigeria is going through. But let, let's talk about what, talk, talk about use the word hypocritical. Mm -hmm. Those who are condemning this trend, they are equally hypocritical in different ways because many of us, many of us somehow, we've all been product of corruption. We've all somehow done things we're not, because it was done in the secret. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. So suddenly, because nobody sees that, oh, you're not the child of the rich person. But somehow, you've actually inflated your prices for, for, for goods. You've actually stolen stuff that you're not supposed to stop just to take. You've all, you actually lied to get benefits. So we've all sinned in different age. ways. So why are we now saying, oh, because he's a child of the rich, wants to make that person a scapegoat. Why don't we just put those so, differences aside and all focus on the objective that so we have? I started by saying I'll that. I'll let you respond. So let me take this quick call from, um, oof, I lost that person. Obina, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah. You see, the, the, the issue of, uh, let me go to the video. The issue of the video going to the Commissioner of Police and deny that there is no protest. The, the one thing we have in Nigeria is that sometimes we we'll say the truth, sometimes, it's, in fact, all of us know the truth. We know we are suffering in this country. Our protesting, it does not mean that they are going, our government, they are still insisting. They know what they are doing. They don't want to help the masses. They know that even, even to the point, like my sister, we are, we are saying something about Badagri. Mm -hmm. I thank God you have witnessed everything. Just imagine people living at that area, how they are suffering. It's too bad. Mm -hmm. It's not that they don't know. They don't know they lose everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, yesterday I was listening at um, NTN, there was a, a program like this. They, those men, they said the truth. They, 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 they said that they are aware, they know that this country is no ugly way, that people are suffering. They said the truth, and they, and they said that they apologize. They said, okay, they apologize, that they will talk to the president to come and address the people. Right. Oh, oh, oh we okay. lost that call. Yes, go ahead. So I, I was saying that um, the, they might actually feel the pains of the citizens, mm. and they might actually want to genuinely want to come and protest. It's just that, when we don't know, when we know what you have done, mm. when we know you are, when we know where you've got the money from, when you come out and make it look like, like when they say small girl, big God, mm -hmm. you just look at them and say, we know you, we know that there's a politician funding your lifestyle. So you can't come and be expressing gratitude to God, like God did this for me, I hustled that I made it. No, we need to ensure that the sincerity of this protest is clear. Now, something Imam might not agree with is the fact that this um, um, politician's children, this um, artist, might seem to have a louder voice, an ability to galvanize. We still live in that unfair environment where media would even pay more attention to such people than the average nobodies. We are hoping to get to the point where even a nobody can articulate himself and get to the front line. So until we get there, let's take advantage of what we have. Until we get there, people, people are saying that funding of this um, protest is coming from all sorts of places. Yes, it can come from all sorts of places, but is it channeled towards the right thing? It is. So for, at the end of the day, everything we're doing must achieve the right goals. Mm -hmm. Let me take this call. Good morning, are you there? I'll ask for this morning. Hello, you're live. Go ahead, please. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sir. Uh, I'm the I'm first caller. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. Yeah, and uh, my name is Monday. I'm yes. calling from uh, Ashe Shave, uh, Ogo State. Yes, go ahead. Yes, um, I think I want to, my contribution is uh, Lima has spoken the hearts of the people, mm. the common person in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, 
if if actually you you have a good motive, allow the common person to speak. I want the common person to come out and protest. Not that you coming to your father, your father has provided a security for you to come out and protest. Then how do we justify that? Or how do we believe that? How is it is not to me is not comparable to it. Okay. Thank you very much, Monday, for your contribution. Do we have more tweets to take, Nima? Yeah, please, Go ahead, please. please. Um, Sir Mark Media says, in my view, there's nothing wrong if the children of these politicians or leaders wish to identify with the struggle at this important time. The nation belongs to each and every one of us, and they shouldn't be judged by their father's sins. Mm -hmm. uh, Adenika Adesue says, if the children of the rich want to protest, they should tell their parents and parents' friends to talk to the government. Ugochi, Ugochuku, Ihejurika says, I don't think so. It was their father's responsibility to fix the system, not them. They are only privileged to have been born into such families. And then God the says... Why are we says, condemning the children no, that's the sins of their today. father? So, that's, actually, that's I, don't I, have think, I don't think any of us condemns them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't condemn the children yeah. of the rich. No, that's for the same. I'm saying that because of how tense the system is right now, right. because of the pain many people have suffered for years, yes. your privilege already blocks you from ability to connect with the mm -hmm. people. Right. So when they see you, they will not be able to, they are, they are, they you are going relate. to overshadow them, they can't relate. So even though you empathize with them, they can't feel you, they can't see so you. So how do those so ones protest? That's why I said that. F support financially. Okay. Speak up behind the mm -hmm. scene, but don't be in the front of that protest. Gotcha. No. Do what you can with the money you have to help the plight right. of the people. No. So it's not that you should, it's not, I'm not saying give money to buyers and all of that. I'm saying fund the challenges that are paining the people. If you can set up call centers, set up call centers, do what you can okay. for the people directly. Right. Before we go, please, I must say, we've, I've, been, I've, I've been, we've been on this issue since last week, and we're here again now. I would really appreciate, just like every other Nigerian right now, that our president speaks to us. Mm. I think everybody has said it on Instagram, <coughs> on Facebook, but I'm saying now on national television, please, President Muhammadu Buhari, you need to speak to us. It is important to douse the tension. It's not Twitter, it is not any representative, mm. it is you talking mm. to Nigerians. And may I ask, even if he speaks to us, not the one that he reads from the papers, though. Mm. We don't want him reading. We want you talking like you're talking to Aisha, you're talking to your children. Like children. children. But they, they are talking to your children, saying, listen, this is the situation, I hear you loud and clear, I have done ABC. But when you start making way, formalizing it, it disconnects you from people. So I think those around him That's should speaking. encourage him to speak. Um, Nima, your last words. The on vice this. president has spoken to us, and you know, what he spoke to us, you can feel. So if you don't feel it, how can you tell us, to, you know, get to us? I think the president... Even our governor speaks to, speak to us almost every other day. If I must commend the governor of Lagos Governor, so Because speaking. this morning we're comparing governor on my way to work, myself, my husband, and my sister-in-law, and we're comparing governors. And I said to them, in the face of all the harassment, he was in Lekki, yes, he was now. in Alausa, he stood with them, he spoke to them. Come out in the crowd, talk to people. Even with the fame and all yes. the things they were singing, he still addressed they tweeted, people. They, he reached an agenda with them. If all governors reach that they agenda, tweeted to people will feel... So, well, they said that, Soros, okay, weary. He said, if you remove the weary, mm. maybe I'll be able to speak louder and can mm -hmm. hear me. So, he wasn't being... He didn't it's feel insulted. That, but even all of that was happening at the protest. Yeah. And he still talked was, to They them. tweeted to Osho also. And governor. He, the governor yes. of Osho. Yes. And he went there yes. and he spoke to them and he apologized over and over again. And even though his vehicle was vandalized, he came out and said it was thugs that they did not protest no, exactly. us. So I think oh. that we must have more people emulating this across the state. We need all of them. Especially of them. much more our presidents. President. And then each, each region has their peculiar problems. We hear that up north that they are saying they want SARS. Their problem is different from the people here. See to their insecurity. It is killing them already. Mm. Just yeah, the way SARS is killing them all right, here. So as you've heard from everybody's viewpoint, the children of rich are justified to be in alignment with the cause. However, they may choose other ways of showing their own um, um, alignment with this cause. That's all we can take. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.